Hello everyone! Today I want to tell you about XPage Dynamics, the new program platform. Using it you can create web interfaces for Lotus Notice applications and doing it very fast. You need only web browser for this. XPage Dynamics has some typical custom solutions and you can configure them as you wish because XPage Dynamics has open code. Also, you can create individual business system or applications with XPT Designer. It is easy and you can use them on any device. If you want to know more about XPage Dynamic, welcome to our website. Today I am going to show you how we can create and make web interface for Lotus database. I create the document with the names of the fields which I need in web form and I create promo documents with some attachments. Let's begin. This is XPD workspace. We can see the applications here. This is the email service. We can connect it with Lotus email or any other email services with IMAP protocol. It can be Gmail or Hotmail or something else. And this is the user homepage. Then the name of the system a little notification about new letters or tasks in uh, home page and uh, also the user profile the settings button and uh, the exit button of course to create a new application we have to enter in administrator mode and that is it Let's the new name will be test. We have a new application now. Let's activate it and make visible in menu. The database is a domino date. So we need to uh, select the NSF file. This is the file we need. Now let's make a pretty icon for this application. That's right. Mm -hmm. OK. Save. Close. Refresh the administrator mode and then refresh the area now you see our application let's enter in a, an application and but inside it's not configured and how can we configure it it's easy return in administrator mode we see the name of the application, the path for the database, the quantity of the documents in the application, the size of it, and the icon of menu visibility. Let's make the view for this application. It's very easy. We just push the button create and we open the XPD designer. We just take the element what we need from the components panel and create the view. We can preview everything in our preview tab. And now you can see that everything looks good. Now go into the form properties 
and uh, give a name for this view and let it be all save it and now when we open this application we have the view of this information which we just have made ok let's make another one and now with categories we do the same uh, the same operations and make the changes in the settings of view make it categories save it and now we have the next view so when we enter the application we see the next uh, view categories view and uh, look everything looks good and working very good great now we will try to make a form do you remember we have the document with the name of the fields find it let's copy the name of the form this is the name and we copy it fill the proper field this field the name and this one this and this now save everything and uh, close this window and refresh the workspace we are ready to create the form but before the form creation we need to specify the type of the document we need this type to have the ability to work from any device it can be iPad or any Android pads or smartphones and let's drop the fields here it's a simple text field let's look what we got now we can open any document and uh, we can see the text field and we can edit and save this document ok let's go and uh, make categories copy the name of the field and uh, let's take uh, the text field name it and let's make combo box it can be with static or dynamic source let's make with dynamic source with this view oh sorry we have some Russian letters here the next field is responsible copy it and choose the component from the left panel and the name will be responsible for this component uh, this is user but we can choose not only a person but uh, uh, we can choose the position of the person so save it the next field we choose the relevant date for this we take the date component from the component panel and only two fields left the notes field it's a common rich text
and the next one status. It's a common rich text. The name uh, but the type is radio group. Here we have static source and to take less time for video I have the name. Just copy it. We can work in both modes. OK, save it. So what we have? The document now not empty inside. We have the information here. And also we can edit it. We can choose the user and the date. OK. Let's, let's make comfort interface for user. For this we create the table with two columns. Something like this. And put everything in these columns. Okay, looks pretty good. Let's make tab. It's very easy. The first tab name will be base and we put everything in it. And now add one more tab with the name access. Um, <laughs> where it is here? Here it is. Uh, the access control. Yes, take it and save it. From the right side we see the tree of depends element with all working items. Open the real document in uh, our form to see the information in fields. Switch to the form settings and take any document from database. So we see the real information just in designer. Ok, that then we need ability to work with the attachment. Let's take the component from the component panel and give it a name body. Look, it connect automatically. And we make a header to make it looking better. We make the path for the header. And we want to make it bigger. I think uh, it's enough. Let's see what we have. Do you remember how it looks like uh, in Lotus? So here it is our three attachment. Everything's looking good. We can uh, edit it and uh, and make a type uh, 
of this document maybe it can be a draft or something else and uh, and uh, we can uh, we can uh, read the documents online uh, just looks like this So we need to learn how to create documents. What we need for this? We need the button, right? Let's close uh, the, all the windows and uh, and make a button. We need uh, the action item from the the panel of components. Let's the new button name new document and we take a type uh, what type we can choose the design of the button and uh, I think we need uh, the red button and uh, we can choose the icon for the button let it be from the right side okay look everything looking good and let's try what we what we made Let's make an attachment for this document. We can uh, see, we can read uh, the document uh, in online. It's uh, because uh, we have integration with uh, uh, Google uh, and Google Docs and Microsoft applications. And we have uh, the world document let's uh, save and uh, look uh, what we have uh, in lotus here it is uh, this uh, is our document and uh, it's uh, with our attachments and uh, we can edit uh, it from here too uh, so maybe uh, we can edit the date And uh, we can uh, we can control the access uh, with a special uh, component. Um, we can uh, use uh, we can add uh, the rights to any users. Any users. It's very comfortable. Okay, thank you for your attention and welcome to our website for more information. Thank you very much.